to tear one of these down so that I can take the metal out. So this is the original 1.0. I need a frame. This is my last one. I always tend to sell every one I have. I don't have any left to test her. So this is straight line for the 1.0, the 1.1. And it has this fan, so I sold every um, heat sink from all the other ones to replace this. Just take this off, put a heat sink from like the 1.6 or the 1.3 or whatever, and it quiets it way down. The 1.1 has the heat sink too, which is, but it's not what I really need. I don't need any of that right now. Two awesome pieces from these fans, although I do sell a lot of those fans. But, I'll worry about that right now. Because what I need is this metal frame here. So let me take this off. So, they have this board here. Sell some of these it's on my list. So, I'm just tearing it down. I have no idea whether this actually works or not. I've been selling them just as parts. Oh, I will get him. Come on, my little buddy. Go get your food, my friend. He's on his way. My little ranger has to get his breakfast in the morning. My little buddy. Alright, so we're pulling these off. I have to take this off to get to the... So a lot of these too. much only have the 1.1 or the 1.0 motherboards left. Sold all the 1.6 just for parts boards. Some of them actually might have worked. It's easy to sell them. I was selling two at a time for parts. I got these up too but I haven't sold any of these. Maybe these are the least people want the least is these. I'm not really worried about the board right now. Most a lot of the parts I sell have nothing to do with actually working. That's the fun thing. Let's see how this is. This is not bad. So you remember your 1.6 doesn't have this, so you can't use this case or this battle liner. I mean, I guess you could just flatten it maybe, but you can't go the opposite way. Definitely not. Or you just miss a screw. So I want to get this case out. It's not easy. It's a little dusty, but but it's intact and it's pretty pretty shiny. It might have a little bit of not even over there. Sorry. So a couple things I gotta do to get to this point. Of course, putting that that head in the way here. I gotta pull this off. Get to it. I remember I wasn't selling the metal liner because I couldn't figure out how to get it out. 
And then now I re and then I realized that I was got it's not too bad. You gotta get this off. I never saw one of these fans though. These fans are quiet. It's that other fan that makes all the noise. Yeah, we're doing all this just to get this off. That's it. So now I'm not gonna do this. There's three locking clips. One, two, three. Here. A little spot right there. I got a wire brush. I'll clean that little. I'm always going to have some middleware. Somewhere there's something. And there's all kinds of fun parts in this. I just sold one of these covers. This piece comes off right here. See, it comes off as a comes off here and then this here. Actually, I'll take it off. It's kind of a pain if you don't if you rush it you'll break it. Almost I'm gonna end up breaking it. It comes off like that. These are the ones you break if you don't do it right. Yet. Oh my god pretty easy peasy. Got this. You if you do it correctly, you keep the tabs here, here, and here. If you do it wrong, when you rush it, you break it. And there's a button here. It's all the fun stuff on these. And as you push it in, there's a little clip right there. I sell these once in a while, these power boards. Once in a while. Not often. power button and then this sometimes these come right out but sometimes they don't but that this comes off right there so some parts of that and this will just come off pretty much so you would have a good bottom case I don't sell many of these. If I was clean as you're going to see, it usually scratched a lot. Intact. Mm, maybe not. This is what I sold. So it's really it's one spot I saw. Usually the fan area. Because it's exposed to the air, you'll see a little, it's just like a little metal wear, it's no big deal. But overall, it's a clean one. So this is how they usually look. Huh. This is how most of them look. So you replace them with this one. See, that's that's you know, pretty rough. Most look like that, pretty much. Definitely in the fan area, you can see how rusted it is there. But I could probably technically probably clean this, but I that better. So you're replacing this one with this. No wait. This one, plus that one. So that's what they do look like. Let's see if I can find what I need. Okay. Yeah, I'll just hit it with a wire brush. Dust in 
there, but you can see the difference. I'll leave that one there just so you can see how different it is compared one to the other. So even everything about our original Xbox is bulky. So even shipping this is over by the time I get it in the box, it's over a pound. So it's like almost twelve dollars to ship just just this piece. So everything is you know sixteen bucks or so because it's just really bulky to ship. Nothing I can do. I can't make it smaller. I gotta make a few bucks or it's not worth it. So I'm not doing it. All right. This takes a while. It took a while to do that. All right, so this is where you'll see the wire brush. friend right here. I use this thing for everything. All these little weird spots. Deadly you can clean your own. This one would take forever. I would never be able to do that. That's not happening. So then I go on this side spot right here. Clean, you're gonna find them. That's what they look like most like this. There's one other spot I saw. Where is it? Any place is air. out of there but yeah you can see the difference between the two 